Hey everybody, it's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, and in this video, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the tools section in the WordPress admin area. You can find the tools by hovering over the tools menu item on the left hand side menu. And by default, you have three options. There's the available tools option, import option, and export option. Backups is an additional one that's only there because I have a plugin called Backup WP installed. So there are some plugins that will add functionality to the tools area, but by default, you only have these top three. So let's click on the first one and I'll show you what that one's all about. As you can see, there's not much going on with the available tools by default. There's always plugins that can add more functionality. So the first one you see here is press this. It's a little applet that's inside of WordPress. It comes right in the core files and it, it integrates with your browser. So what you can actually do is if you're browsing the web, you can clip text and images and video out of any web page, edit it in a little dialog box, and then publish it right to your WordPress site. And this is great if you're curating content or if you want to highlight something that's said in a news article or just something where you want to highlight other people's work on your own WordPress site. Of course, you want to give credit where credit's due, but this press this applet makes sharing a lot easier. The categories and tags converter is just what it says. It converts categories and tags. So you can convert your categories to tags or you can convert your tags to categories. I'm not 100% sure when you even want to use this functionality. My best guess is poor planning at the beginning of a website where you create a whole bunch of categories and a whole bunch of tags and you didn't think it through. So then you want to convert them later on. But if you think through how you want to design your blog right from the very beginning, I can't see you ever needing a categories and tags converter. So the next section in the WordPress tools is the import section. And this is where you can import data from other WordPress sites or other website software. And you can see the list right here. At very at the very top you have Blogger, which is a Google product, Blog Roll, there's the categories and tags converter. You can import from LiveJournal, you can import from movable type and typepad, you can import from Tubler and you can import directly from an RSS feed. And of course, the very last one, import from WordPress. So what this allows you to do is you can go into any of these products. Well, that's not true. You can go into Blogger, Blog Roll, Live Journal, Movable Type and Typepad, Tumblr and WordPress, and you can export the posts and pages that you've created there with then the ability to import them via this import section in the tools. RSS, that's where you add a link to an RSS feed. You don't actually go and export the RSS stuff, you just import a link. And the categories and tags, same idea. It just, you don't actually import anything, it just converts your categories and tags. So if you click on the WordPress option to import, you actually have to install a plugin for that. It's currently installed on, on this site. If you didn't have it installed, you'd be prompted to install the import WordPress plugin. And then once you have it installed, all you have to do is click on browse, find the exported file that you created from the other software, and then select it under the browse and then click upload file and import. And I'll have another video that walks you through that specifically, but, but this video is just a general overview of the tools. So in the next set of tools, we have the export, which as the name implies, you can export the content. So whatever you export from here, this would be used in the import function that we just went over. So you can choose what you want to export. By default, it's just pages and posts, but we have some other functionality that's included in the theme that's currently installed, and that added the Fusion Sliders, Portfolio, FAQs, and Elastic Sliders. The option you probably most often want is the All Content option. And you just choose one or a combination of these, and you click on Download Export File, and it makes an XML file that you can import to a different WordPress site or a different uh, site software. And then backups, of course, like I said, is an extra plugin that is that added a menu item for the tools. So it just backs up the database and the WordPress files. And that's not there by default, so you may not have that option on yours. And that is a quick overview of the tools section of the WordPress admin. I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Make sure you subscribe, share on social media, and check out wplearninglab.com where we write about WordPress every single day. Talk to you soon.